Okay, uh, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, so I repeat, my name is Aris Cahyadi Ristianto. You can call me Aris. Okay. Uh, officially, I'm a research fellow at NUS, National University of Singapore. But uh, today I'm uh, represent uh, ONF, Open Networking Foundation, to discuss about the uh, Aether project, which is uh, first open source 5G LTE uh, connected edge cloud platform. Okay, uh, before we go to the detail, uh, let me give you some uh, uh, highlight or maybe introductions to the uh, what is the uh, hybrid cloud services. Okay. Uh, this was my uh, presentations in one of the events uh, in uh, Epicot. So in here, I want to emphasize uh, that we have uh, uh, what they say like slightly changes in our inter internet architecture. As you can see here, uh, now you can say like the main internet, right? Or the core of the internet basically is uh, owned by a uh, big, big company like Google, Facebook, Amazon, or uh, any other uh, uh, OTTs. And then left uh, with the very small part of the uh, uh, network actually is done by the uh, internet service provider. Okay, uh, uh, it's known, it's already, it's already known, that's like a very huge trend and effort. But uh, the good thing is, uh, it gave you a different way to provide uh, networking. It can be uh, global network interconnect, uh, virtual, virtual private cloud, hybrid cloud networking, and so on. Okay. So, and then if we take a look more closely on the cloud side, okay. So it's very uh, obvious that you will have the community clouds like Amazon, uh, Google Cloud, or uh, what they say Azure, and then you will have uh, Telco Cloud which is usually is uh, having by the provider. And then uh, now everybody is shifting a little bit to the uh, edge cloud, that uh, cloud that very close to the users to give more, more uh, what they say, a very good uh, user experience. And then uh, the issue is somebody say that maybe it's complicated, like adding some complexity, uh, but some other people say it may have you another, give you another uh, what they say uh, opportunity when where we call, where we can uh, deploy what we call hybrid cloud services. Okay. Okay. Now uh, the example of the hybrid cloud services. Uh, I mean, one of the example is five G connected its cloud. And then uh, if we relate with the, uh, uh, what they say, uh, the current uh, transformations in the, in the uh, digital era, they call it like enabling digital transformations using this uh, 5G uh, uh, technology. Okay. So I just give you a little bit, uh, what they say, uh, background, why this uh, 5G, uh, what they say, uh, it's uh, equation, right? Like open, uh, uh, enterprise transformations. So they can use the 5G uh, connections uh, to build their, I don't know, um, IT sensors, networking, or maybe like AI, ML, and AR, FVR to support the uh, what we call industry 4.0. So everybody will try to, what they say, uh, compete in this, uh, what they say, transformations to build the infrastructures based on the uh, 5G. Okay, and then uh, you can see here some numbers that actually uh, in, in, I mean, uh, to do this transformations, actually you need the uh, connectivity, software, hardware, and services together. Okay, <clears throat> and then the problem is how we can provide this kind of platform that can uh, support these transformations. Okay, uh, of course, we can always come back to the history and history may be repeat okay uh, here uh, in the in the old days we know the solaris and we all know uh, we also know the symbian os right and then uh, in that time i think it's very clear that they can give very good uh, what they say like solutions to i mean 
uh, for different type of services, different types of uh, what they say uh, innovations. But the issue with that solution actually is uh, uh, purposely built. Okay, it's only working for some specific hardware and 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 cannot be shared with others uh, vendor and so on. So uh, what we call uh, close and proprietary. And then uh, uh, after that, uh, Linux and Android came, right? So uh, it's, it's begun the what is say like the transformations of the operating system, and it becomes uh, the transformations of the uh, uh, mobile uh, operating system. Okay, and then why these two those two become very powerful on the uh, for the solutions for the transformations because. Uh, both of them actually generally purpose built and then of course uh, open source right so you can always use it and then uh, enhance it and then uh, give it back to the uh, community okay so uh, imagine if in the in the in the in the what they say uh, 5g uh, connected edge platform right so if we can have some similar solutions like Android, okay, that can run in many different hardware, okay, uh, can be CPU, it can be uh, what they say, uh, uh, what they say, the LED can be uh, what is the two sensor and uh, all those things, right? And then uh, of course uh, some additional hardware libraries, uh, and then you have some platform, okay that uh, uh, similar to Android for the phones. And then you can also add some specific uh, build platform, okay, IoT, AI, or whatever. And then at the top of this one, you can build uh, many, many different applications. Okay, and, and it's not fine, I mean, or it's not really, uh, what they say, uh, dependent on the hardware itself, okay? So, and then the, the most important actually, uh, this platform can be connected to the cloud. So imagine if the, your, your, your Android phone, right, actually is connected to the cloud and then uh, doing updates seamlessly, uh, uh, so storing some data uh, uh, automatically and so on and so on. Even uh, sometimes you can push some com configurations in your phones, right? So similarly, let, uh, you may be able to push some of the configuration from the central public cloud into the uh, enterprise uh, edge cloud. So this is the idea of the the, the main uh, 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 ether that want to uh, achieve. Okay, so that's why uh, uh, ONF as one of the uh, foundations for uh, open source networking. So uh, try to uh, build a platform called ether, uh, especially for uh, 5G uh, connected edge cloud platform. Okay, so basically. The main reasons, as we mentioned, uh, 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 want to use uh, this platform to enable uh, 5G driven industry 4.0 initiative. So the main key actually, uh, uh, we, I mean, it can be provide uh, con connectivity services, either 5G, 5G or CPRS or any other uh, uh, type of connectivity. Okay, uh, and then. Uh, uh, what they say, it should be uh, robust, similar that uh, uh, provide by the uh, service providers. Okay, and then uh, this uh, connectivity connectivity services actually is connected to the cloud, so you can do uh, you can do many things that you cannot do in the in the here. You can offload some some of the uh, what they say uh, services in here, like doing the uh, AI or machine learning. Okay. And then uh, the last but not least, actually, it can be used for any uh, different applications, uh, whether the applications is required uh, high bandwidth, low bandwidth, uh, what they say, uh, low latency and so on. Uh, it will be capable to manage uh, the, this type of uh, applications by doing the end-to-end -end slices. Okay, and then all this uh, uh, surface or the, the solution actually is managed by the uh, cloud managed open source platform. Okay, so uh, what actually uh, what they say? Uh, I mean, what is the unique of this platform that want to offer to the uh, community? Okay, uh, basically uh, there are many innovations that actually uh, uh, what they say uh, 
uh, already uh, done previously or currently uh, still ongoing. Uh, but in in this specific uh, platform, we try to combine all together, right? Uh, for example, like the uh, uh, 5G, 4G, edge cloud, and then cloud native uh, edge platform, end-to-end -end slicing, SDN, uh, network programming, and then network verification, and so on. And the last but not least, actually, this is the more important. Uh, the platforms will be able to run in the open source software, and then in the uh, you can select open source hardware. Okay, so the benefits, yeah, of course, uh, it's similar that uh, the main, uh, the main, uh, what to say, the main uh, purpose of the uh, the ether is was was built. Okay, the economics, of course, because we we want to have platform which is. Uh, what is the efficient uh, in terms of the uh, the cost to be built, and then uh, secure. Of course, you, you you need to have some some hardware that can be programmable specifically uh, programs for your needs. Okay, so you can uh, remove all these uh, functions that you may not require, and then uh, similarly you can control the, the what they say the the traffic I mean, uh, from the uh, for your network. And then, of course, hybrid cloud, as I mentioned, right? So you able to deploy uh, some of the components in the edge cloud, but some components in the central cloud. Okay. So this is uh, uh, some of the benefits that actually uh, Aether want to uh, achieve uh, uh, in this uh, uh, effort. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in other view. Uh, you can see uh, the the Ether platform is uh, in the middle. Okay, uh, try to provide these three uh, components that we have already discussed before, and then uh, running in the top of the white boxes. Uh, it can be uh, CPU, it can be GPU, it can be TPU, TPU, or any other type of hardware uh, that can be easily uh, programmable, and then. Uh, of course, in the top, you may also has the uh, third party uh, 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 additional platform, special for uh, AI or IoT or any, anything else. And then uh, the applications uh, should be easy uh, for the user to be uh, 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 developed. Okay, like a similar like you develop the, uh, the 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 applications in Android, right? So you don't care about the, all the uh, almost don't care about the, the the hardware and all those things. Okay, as long it can and it can run in in the, the platform, it will be run in any hardware. Yeah. Okay, and then the purpose uh, uh, can be used in many different industries. Can be office uh, for the surveillance and then the sensors in the factory or IoT, and so on and so on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's uh, uh, talk little bit more details about the, the components of the Aether. So uh, because we, we talk about the edge cloud uh, uh, platform, so we we need to have these two different uh, part of the com uh, components of Aether. One is what we call uh, Aether Connected Edge or ACE. Okay, basically it's, it's all the, what they say, the physical connections that connected to the users uh, will be here. And then uh, some of the, uh, what they say, uh, like here uh, is, is like programmable uh, switches, okay? Uh, and then uh, it's controlled by the, uh, what we call uh, ONOS. ONOS is one of the SDN controllers. And then in radio side, uh, we have what we call uh, RIC, uh, Radio Intelligent Controller. That specifically, uh, 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 what they say, minutes, uh, what they say, the, the radio communications uh, between all the uh, users and, and, and devices. Yeah. And then in the top of these two uh, different type of controllers, okay, so you, you need to have these applications, okay, uh, different applications for different purposes. And then, of course, uh, uh, there is some additional uh, uh, applications that we can uh, build in the top of this uh, platform. Uh, components and then uh, imagine if you have uh, many different uh, sites okay or different uh, uh, is components so you, you need to have the centralized uh, uh, what they say management uh, system right so that's why we control this uh, uh, distributed uh, aces 
uh, with the uh, these two different functions. One is the either quantitative control, and the other is uh, either management platform. So basically, uh, what uh, I mean, uh, what operation operation that did by the AMP basically is how to uh, uh, pre uh, prepare the, the infrastructure based on the SDN software defense networking, and then uh, uh, how to provide the uh, radio, uh, software defense radio access and uh, some of the uh, closed loop control. For example, if there is any uh, attack attack in the system, so you, the the system will be able to react and so on and so on. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's look more detail on the uh, management platform uh, because the the EMP is 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 placed in the cloud uh, environment. Uh, it can be in public cloud uh, like uh, Google, Amazon, or uh, Azure. So basically, it's already uh, 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 full on software. Okay, so basically, what we we use in here actually all the open source software that use for different purposes, right? Uh, so we we use it for the uh, runtime operation control, okay. Uh, like the, the all the controllers uh, uh, has been used here, and then for logging monitoring, I think everybody knows that we have Prometheus, Grafana, and DLK. And then for lifecycle management, uh, I mean, uh, how you push your uh, what they say uh, any changes in the platform, right? Uh, either software patch or of uh, so or even new versions and how you, you will push into the platform. So you have uh, a different type of uh, tools like Jenkins, uh, Terraform or, or, or Docker, uh, Docker container or whatever. Yeah. So basically it's, uh, I mean, uh, because it's already in the cloud. So uh, any uh, cloud-based uh, solutions can be used to uh, deploy this uh, entire management platform. Okay, so platform is only platform if we not really deploy in the real world right so basically uh, in the simple case uh, we may need to have a central uh, public cloud okay for the for the management and then we will have many uh, sites here okay and then uh, of course uh, the, some controllers to control the network and then uh, some applications need to be uh, in place Okay, so this is uh, the current situations uh, of the Ether network that deploy uh, in the worldwide and operated by uh, ONF. So imagine uh, ONF like uh, like one of the operate, uh, operator of the 5G, uh, 4G network across the globe. So uh, there is some, uh, what they say, uh, collaborations that uh, 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 like fundamentally uh, deploy the Ether and then connect to the ONF uh, platform. And then, uh, in terms of the uh, uh, what say, management platform, is also hosted in the public cloud like Google. Okay, and then uh, there are uh, more sets coming to become the ACE, the connected uh, edge. Okay, so uh, and then it's maintained uh, totally uh, uh, similar to the cloud native applications. So you have the CI/CD pipelines, you have uh, what they say DevOps, uh, uh, what they say. Uh, a cycle and so on and so on yeah okay so there is an example of the uh, uh, what they say uh, applications that we can be deployed in the uh, uh, ether platform basically is doing the uh, something like ai uh, what they say uh, things in the in the in the centralized uh, cloud uh, by uh, uh, by using some sensors in the in the uh, what they say uh, ace in the connected edge uh, and then uh, in, 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 in I mean it turns in almost real time yeah and then in terms of the uh, management uh, because all the the, the components are, are built on the softwares okay so uh, of course we should be able to monitor all the the, the components performance right connectivity load utilization and, and so on uh, using uh, uh, web available uh, open source tool yeah uh, here uh, the example we use the grafana and then we also use rancer to to deploy uh, what they say a kubernetes cluster okay so uh, what's next uh, this is some example how uh, some of the organizations uh, like uh, what they say 
uh, responding to this uh, initiative. So uh, Department of Defense uh, US gave some uh, project uh, to build the, the, what they say, uh, they call it like uh, closed loop control of the network. Okay, and then uh, there is uh, some, uh, what they say, uh, some new company initiate, initiate by the ONF to, to focus on generating or, or creating the solutions or applications for the 5G for enterprise. And then uh, uh, recently, uh, there is announcement that uh, when, uh, sorry, the, the Ather is uh, released as open source software under the uh, Permissive Apache uh, 2.0 open source license. So, uh, uh, I mean, uh, some of the uh, members already have their, uh, what they say, capability to build the, 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 the platform, and then uh, they want to share with the, the, the more uh, bigger community so they can also try the same thing, yeah. Okay, so we are not alone. So uh, many, uh, you can say like the hardware vendor, uh, software vendors, uh, operators uh, try to help this in this efforts to build this, uh, what they say, either build the test bed or even build the, the platform itself. And then uh, uh, the most important actually, uh, we invite uh, uh, many of the com I mean, uh, different com uh, different type of communities, right, to join uh, the efforts. Uh, whether you are enterprise, whether you are ecosystem partners, or you, you whether you are uh, university campuses, or maybe only open source developer. Uh, so to uh, to join and contribute to this uh, open source uh, uh, effort. Yeah. So, uh, if you want to test, don't worry. Uh, when I give uh, uh, what they say the the example of the uh, of the what they say the uh, customized uh, box that run can run the, the the full set of the ether okay so and then uh, to uh, to know how the the ether works how the ether is being developed how the ether is being operated and so on and so on so uh, you you may try this uh, 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 the github code and then uh, see whether do you have any interest that can be, uh, what they say, uh, used as a contribution to the uh, point? Yeah. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, I will be happy to take some questions. Yeah.